today I'm going to give her a tour of Community Station uh, here in Voxelia at Spawn. Give a little look around, just to give you some context. And what this station is based on is St. Pancras Station and in uh, London, a famous train station with a big glass roof. And here it is. There are some cool features here. The coolest by far is this set of uh, this control panel that basically has 14 different places that this station can connect to. Uh, you can see about seven of them are connected up right now and uh, maybe eight and uh, there's plenty of room for expansion which is awesome. So this little guy over here is the Cylon Eye. It's a uh, it's a little device. There's a whole video about it on uh, on YouTube that I did uh, talking about that. It's just a fun little keep you busy looking at things device while you uh, wait to take your train. And this is some of the mechanism to uh, to wire up all those buttons. One of the hardest things of doing this device, in fact, was just getting all the buttons to be wired up and not overlap. This is just a, uh, a pretty floor covering and a little piece of uh, greenery inside. Um, one of the hardest things actually is keeping animals out of the station, so we tend to put a lot of fences up everywhere. So let's go up top. That's kind of cool. So if I can do this right, I can use this cool stairway that lets you kind of zip up to the top. There we go. And now we're on the ceiling, or on the roof rather and we can look down and see the cool stuff going on. This just gives you more context. What's going on? Oh yeah, I should mention while we're outside, uh, a number of trees have been brought from uh, from various places. You can see some uh, spruces and birches and whatnot. Um, these are not native. This, uh, this world is uh, maybe half a year old and uh, so it was before there were any biomes and so because of that there's no, uh, you know, nothing else than normal trees around the spawn area. So let's head down into the, uh, the bottom of the station where all the uh, cool circuitry is. So this uh, was all laid in by Steve. He's the guy who designed the whole 14 uh, switch station. Actually, he got the, the idea of uh, having all these switches from some YouTube video, but he did a lot of the uh, the wiring and so on, inventing how he could make it all work himself. So there's a lot of these uphill launchers in the station, and he uses these because he finds that they reset nicely, even with animals on the tracks and so on. They'll reset nicely, as opposed to some of our earlier designs where you have to push the boosters back into place and so on. Um, down here is all kinds of repeating circuitry and so on. I am not even going to try to explain what's going on here, but you know, it, there's nothing magical, it's just that there's a heck of a lot of it since there's 14 different trains taking off, or 14 different tracks that, you know, you can choose from. Uh, here's again a bunch of uphill boosters to help trains that are coming into the station get that last little boost to get get up to the top. So this is the bottom level, where seven tracks leave. Here's the top level, where seven tracks leave. And, uh, let's see, I should also mention this cool water wall was put in by Fusty who also, I just recently noticed, has a, a cute little secret garden here which you have to go swim over to. I thought that was a nice little touch. And uh, and that's about it. What was great about this station project was that basically everybody contributed in some way. Um, I contributed a lot of clay and I, a, a ton of sand for glass and smelting a lot of sand to glass. Uh, other people you know, put in, Steve put in the circuitry, Mauricio designed and built the station uh, you know, for the most part, um, Crazy Cake collected a lot of dyes. Let's see if I can click on this thing correctly. There we go. And so th this is <laughs> a lot of dye has been used since then, but uh, this is where we collect it all. And uh, in general, it was great. Everybody just chipped in in one way or another, brought a lot of things to up to uh, you know to build the station. And it was it's one of our few big group projects. So very cool place. And I hope you enjoyed the tour. That's about it. Bye now.